everybody, I am Proto Foxy. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy your stay and enjoy the content I provide. Today we will be going into the world of Magic the Gathering. We have a collection of cards here. We're going to go into a little bit of deck tech for the modern format. This is Black White Zombie Copter. It took a uh, top 8 in Madrid by Julian Berto, I believe is the name is. Um, I did take some liberties due to card availability and whatnot, and now that Dominaria has dropped, I think I'm going to add a couple of different cards to the sideboard. I'm figuring out what cuts to make. Um, if you all have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. We're just going to go ahead and take a quick look at the card selection we got going on here. Up here in the one drop creature slot, we got four Brave Crawlers, we got four Dread Wanderers. In the two drop creature slot, we got four Blood Ghast. We got four Tide Hollow Sculler. In the two drop artifact slot, we have four Smuggler's Copter. Favorite card of mine, one of my favorites. In the three drop slot, we have Liliana of the Veil, one of the best Black Planeswalkers ever printed, one of the best Planeswalkers, in my opinion, in the modern format. And then we're going to go over to the spell package. Black and white definitely does have some of the best removal and hand disruption in modern, in my personal opinion. We have three fatal pushes. We have three thought seizes. We have four inquisition of Kozilek. So that may change. It may go up four thought seize and three inquisition. Haven't decided yet. Again, feedback is welcome in the comments section below. We have a single path to exile. And we come up this way. We have four Lingering Souls. We have two Collective Brutality. Go over to the Mana Base. We have two Shambling Vents. Uh, Black White Man Land I happen to really, really enjoy, and it definitely does put in some work in the deck. The Classic Muta Vault, we have three of those, and you know, definitely a great Utility Man Land, a great enabler for our zombie tribal synergies, especially with Grave Crawler. We have a single Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. The uh, original deck actually ran two, but again, took some liberties. I do have a full play set of Urborg, but I felt the route I'm going is a little bit better here, you know, as far as the mana base goes, and I'll show you why. Come over here. We've got a couple of Godless Shrines. We have four Isolated Chapels. We have four Marsh Flats. We have a single planes, and that's what I actually dropped the second Urborg for. I just feel it better to have a basic planes in there. We have three basic swamps. Then we're going to come over to the sideboard. We have three Leyline of the Voids. We have three Ghost Quarters. We have a Path to Exile and a Hero's Downfall. We have a two Stony Silences. We come up this way, and I apologize for the camera being shaky first time through. The, we have a single Zealous Persecution. We have two Disenchants, and we have two Wrath of Gods. Come up this way and get an entire look at the deck once again at the kitchen table here. Um... The uh, sideboard in and of itself, I actually poured it over from a black-white zombie deck that was uh, doing the rounds online last year. Uh, again, now that Dominaria has dropped, I feel Damping Sphere definitely deserves a slot in the deck. You know, at least in the sideboard. So, um, again, any feedback is welcome. Uh, drop it in the comments below what you think. This deck here is definitely a lot of fun. It's not top tier by any stretch of the imagination, but it is obviously competitive. It has put up numbers again at a Grand Prix of Madrid. Um, I would definitely be confident in taking this to my local game shop and playing it competitively at uh, you know at any kind of modern event. It's a lot of fun. Um, so if you enjoy playing decks that are on the fringe in the modern format and uh, Magic the Gathering, Go ahead and put it together, or put a different version of it together if you want. It's definitely a good time. Um, hopefully you enjoyed everything you saw here. I look forward to providing you more content in the future, uh, particularly again with Magic the Gathering, because I happen to be a huge fan of Magic the Gathering, but also I look to do some um, 
you know, playthrough videos of some classic video games and even taking a look at some uh, different action figures for reviews and such. That's the kind of content I want to provide on the channel. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed your stay, and if you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, give any feedback in the comment section below. Any feedback is welcome, constructive criticism, positive feedback. Looking forward to checking it out, and we will definitely see you in the next video. Proto Foxy out.